All over the land, big people are hiding away big passions. For some, it's the need to dance. I know I'm not the next Darcy Bustle, but <laughs> I can still get a girl. The stereotype ballet dancer is thin as a ray, no flesh, and your hips like a stick insect. But one man is about to change all that. I am here to prove that big people who are big all round deserve to be able to dance in ballet. Classical ballet dancers all have long, lithe bodies with thin limbs, right? Well, not the dancers in The Big Ballet, a new British reality series following a group of plus-size dancers through a production of Swan Lake. And here to tell us all about it is WSJ reporter Pia Catton. Pia, thank you so much for being here. Good to be here. So, you know, when it comes to professional ballet, a woman can be a size four or six even and be considered too heavy. Too heavy. So what are we talking about when we say big ballet? The creators of this show were looking for dancers who were size 12 and above. Wow. So even up to size 20. Wow. And yet all of these dancers had dance experience. They were exactly. not starting from zero. Exactly. Some had training when they were children and then grew a little bit bigger and got out of ballet. Um, some had training and then kept going in life. but but just couldn't make it as a professional. I have to be honest that as a, a former professional ballet dancer myself at the New York City Ballet, when I heard the concept of this series, <laughs> I thought it sounded a little cruel. Like, let's find a bunch of big people and right. watch them dance and have a laugh. And yet, that's not the purpose of right. it, correct? The potential to be cruel is part of this, I think. And that yeah. was, um, I think it's a, it's a bit of a, a scary point. You know, you look yeah. at it and you think, I don't want these people to be laughed at. Right. And also, the creators didn't want that either. Right. And they really created a Swan Lake that played to the strengths of these women. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot more arm movements, um, a lot of kind of acting. So not the most footwork in the world. I was going <laughs> to say, this must be a very adjusted version of Swan Lake because Swan Lake is one of the most technical ballets it is. out there and it is challenging even for a prima ballerina at the top of her game exactly. and so there are no 32 fuetes in this no version. the choreographer really wanted them to be able to shine and to not be compared to professional ballet well dancers. we have some footage of royal ballet dancer marianella nunez doing the famous 32 fuetes oh, there she is as black swan in the coda that is one of the hardest things that a professional ballerina has to do what are the kinds of things that these women were asked to do. Well, this ballet was reset within an art gallery, ah. which is interesting for Swan Lake. So the paintings kind of became the swans. Mm -hmm. And it is a shorter version. Um, these women trained for five months, Thursday, Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, to get in shape for this. And right. some told me that they did lose weight, although that was not the point of the show. Right. The point was to show that women who enjoyed ballet but didn't feel like they could continue with the art form should be able to continue to do it. That's right. That's right. Within a certain context. I mean, right. I, I sometimes, I, I bristle when ballet gets criticized for being so um, selective of body type because mm -hmm. I feel like the body type, your body is your instrument in ballet and mm -hmm. any more than I could never dance, I could never sing professional opera. There are some people that are perhaps not you know, built to dance professional ballet. And that's right. just sort of a fact of life. It and is. Ballet is not always fair. That's right. That's right. And to be honest, most professional ballet dancers are naturally thin. So they are. So that is the big truth that a lot of people don't want to acknowledge. But thank you so much, Pia, for that. It's fascinating. Thank you. I always love discussing ballet.